Hi, I'm Alex. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. I am a 25-year-old institutional research analyst in the state of Connecticut who loves books, so I post on here about books all the time. Um, today we are going to be doing a video that I've seen a lot of other people do, but most recently I think I saw Destiny Sidwell do it, um, where we're going to be picking my TBR in a little bit of a fun way. So I have a spreadsheet that has every single book on my physical TBR on it. My TBR card is right here, nice and full, and I want to buy more books, but Right now, there's nothing that I really like need, so I thought this would be a perfect time to try to knock some books off of my TBR. Um, last month, I was able to take off, I think, 12 physical books off my TBR, and I would love to do the same thing this month. So we're gonna go through and pick 10 books, and I might regret that, but 10 books for me to read this month now. It's gonna be out of 73 books. I do actually have like 86 on that cart. There are some that are like the second in the series or I plan on like filming a video with them or something like that. So they will not be included in this video. Or there are simply 1200 page books like Anna Karenina that got taken off. But anyways, we have the Google random number generator open and we are going to be letting this choose my tbr so i have it set to choose a number between 1 and 73 so let's see what the first one is 60. so both number 60 on here okay that's a that's a good choice is one in rome Is when in rome by sarah adams um so that is an exciting first book i honestly probably would have put this on my tbr this month anyways so happy with that and put it back here so you can see it um now book number two let's see six i don't know why i'm showing you as if there's not a screen recording on the screen um, book at number six, it's The Sinful Lives of Trophy Wives, which I don't even know where that is. Here. This was just like a, a little book. Um, it's pretty short. How many pages is it? 270. So this should be interesting. This is a mystery book about a writer who is the new wife on the block, it says. Her tech billionaire husband Jack, 22 years her senior, whisked her to the Bay Area via private jet and purchased a modest mansion on the same day. He demands perfection, and up till now, Brokers had no problem playing the role. Okay, so this is about a few different wives, um, I guess, who their trophy wives to rich husbands, and it's a mystery. So this will be a fun one to read. Also, I didn't mention, but When in Rome by Sarah Adams is like a small town famous pop star romance um, that I feel like literally everyone has been talking about. So you probably don't need me to describe it to you. The next number that we will be looking at a book for is 42. So 42 is If He Had Been With Me by Lauren Dowlin. I wasn't planning on breaking my own heart this month. It is August, I, it's not Sad Girl Book Month, um, but we're gonna go with it. So this next book is If He Had Been With Me. Um, so this has been on my TBR for a while. I got this as a gift for Christmas from my mom. So add this to the little pile, three down, seven to go. Book number 20. Two. What is 22? The Makeup Test by Jenny L. Howe. I had put this book on my like list of books that I wanted as gifts during the holidays. Um, I did a whole video going to Barnes and Noble and like building a gift list. I can link it down below but um, yeah this one sounds interesting. It's about a Woman who's finally been accepted into her dream PhD program, studying medieval literature under a professor she's admired for years. 
then she discovers her ex-boyfriend has also been accepted. Uh, and they're both assigned to TA for the same professor. This sounds fun. It's gonna be a little second chance romance, I guess, in set in academia. I love books that are set in academia. Um, I mean, I have my dreams of going to get my PhD, so every time I read about people doing it, I just wanna do it more. <laughs> okay, book number four. We'll go into book number five. 22. That's the same one we just had. 54 is... This one's exciting. Uh, the Love Wager by Lynn Painter. Um, I'm excited to read this. I read Mr. Wrong Number pretty recently, so I know that I like her new adult novels better than her YA ones. I'm really excited to get into this. It's very nice that it's on this list. Let me... Make sure I highlight it where to go. Okay, so that's five. Number six. six uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh no. <laughs> um, I've wanted to read this for a while because I watched Larry Reads and she talks about it in almost every video and no it's not addicted although that's also on my tbr so if that gets picked i wouldn't be like heartbroken but um it is time to stop putting it off the spanish love deception by elena armis i know that this book some people absolutely love it some people simply do not i'm curious to see where i fall in that line um i I don't know. I bought it really excited to read it and then I started seeing some pretty poor reviews so it's just been sitting on my TBR for like a year and a half but it's time. Book number six is The Spanish Love Deception. This is fun. I think that if I was getting books like Jane Eyre I'd probably think this was less fun but right now this is fun. Okay number three Fun one. Number three is another book my mom got me for Christmas. I gave her a list of 50 books. She chose two and the random number generator chose both of them for this video. But it's None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie. Um, this is a YA mystery thriller about two teenagers, um, a serial killer survivor, serial killer survivor and a u.s marshal candidate who are recruited by the fbi to interview convicted juvenile killers and provide insight on cold cases so i think it's going to be sort of similar to the naturals um but not sure i really did enjoy the naturals so i think that this one would be good too we will see that is book number seven three more okie dokie the next one is 61. I This is a random number generator, but it's clearing out this entire section of my book cart. 61 is Set on You by Amy Leah. This is the first book to X's and O's, also by Amy Leah. Obviously, this is about a fitness influencer um, who built her career as a gym influencer obviously um but after her recent breakup she has little stamina left for men and finds solos in the gym meets a firefighter i'm sure they fall in love um seems like amy leo likes to write about firefighters so that's interesting i'm excited to read this i thought this one sounded more interesting to me actually than x's and o's but i definitely will read that after so this is book number eight Oh, I never stopped the screen recording. Okay, the next one is book 32. All right, this is the first book on this list that I am not particularly excited about and not super confident in the fact that I will actually achieve reading this month. And that is Frat Girl by Kylie Roche. Um, I have owned this book as well for almost two years, if not over that. Um, haven't read it yet. It's about a girl who is like she wants to write a paper on 
Um, yeah, she wants to do a research project on the boys in a frat um, to provide proof of their mis misogynistic behavior. Um, so this sounds interesting. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but it is just like a, a YA. Um, I don't know if it's a romance. I don't know. We will see. That is book number nine. And for the last one, we got the same thing again. Number eight. Which is Not the Plan by Gia de Cadenet. Um, Cadenet. This, the description of this book says an ambitious chief of staff risks her career and her heart when she falls hard for her new colleague in this steamy workplace from the author of Getting His Game Back. I love political romances. They're some of my favorite political romances, academic rivals. Love them, love them, love them. Especially like competing for the same political jobs. Like, this is ideal. If I was going to write a book, it would be the same <laughs> general like theme of like probably fighting for a job in the political workplace or something to do with that. So this is the last book on our TBR for the month. So just to review, to review quick, we have Not the Plan by Judith De, De Cadenet, Frat Girl by Kylie Roche, Sit on You by Amy Leah, None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marty, The Spanish Love Assumption by Elena Armas, The Love Wager by Lynn Painter, The Makeup Test by Jenny Howe, If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan, The Sinful Lives of Trophy Lives by Kristen Miller, and When in Rome's When in Rome by Sarah Adams. So that is my TBR for the month. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.